In the video you clicked on today, I will be showing you guys what I believe to be the best offense in all of Madden 22. Quickly, the abilities and personnel that you will need. You will need a Polar Elite on your right guard and your left guard, and you will need three post-ups, left guard, center, and right guard. For the quarterbacks, it would be nice to have two of them, one with Sefi lead and another one that's pretty fast, like Justin Fields. You want to have a pretty quick running back, a decently good blocking fullback, and a slot apprentice wide receiver. To show you guys that you can run this offense with damn near any team, as long as you have that exact personnel, I'm using a 50 out of 50 at Labor Rams team team, which is like an 82 overall barely like it's not that good the playbook i am running this out of is the baltimore ravens power offense in this video there's not going to be a lot of edits a lot of cuts it's really going to be me explaining why i think this offense is the best offense in the entire game so if you want to see that type of video stay tuned and we're just going to jump right into the game also in this game i'll be pretty much exclusively showing offense next to no defense just so you guys can see this guy's got a pretty good team so whatever we do on offense it's going to work against really anybody guys this is not your typical go Gun a bunch offense. We're going to be going throughout every formation in the game. Gun, pistol, strong, I form, and single back. We're going to be going throughout all of that. The first play that I'm going to call is this read option here out of normal Y off. It's out of the gun formation. The reason why I'm calling this is I'm, I'm just trying to get it a gauge of the type of defense he's running. And look at this. He's running the 3-3-5 wide offense. This is good. This is actually really good. We're going to go ahead and hand it off to the running back right here. And he has actually really good defense for that. Okay, so that's fine. That's cool. That's fine. Okay, so I'm actually going to audible over to Gun Bunch here. And we're going to see if we can get something cooking with Matthew Stafford. I'm running clear out my play. It looks like this. He's sending a blitz off the left edge. And I should have... Yep, I had that wide open. Awesome. I'm pretty sure that was match coverage. So I threw the post across the middle of the field, and it worked pretty well. It was covered three, but it, it looked like match to me. Maybe he made some adjustments. Now we're going to put in Justin Fields. And one thing that I didn't do that I need to do, ball carrier conservative. Whenever you're running with your quarterback, you want the ball carrier to be on conservative every single time. This time, we're going to run this quarterback kind of power to the right side he's already shifting his line to the wrong spot and uh we're gonna get really really good blocks as you guys can see if i just got past that one dude i mean we were absolutely positively gone now this guy he's running a lot of blitzes which is definitely cool blitzing is really really good in this game i'm gonna call flanker drive uh the play art looks like this and we're gonna try to go for one play touchdown here i don't know how realistic that's gonna be but we're gonna try to do it the play art looks like this okay we're going to try to double team this outside guy, potentially roll out with Matthew Stafford. Uh, do I have it? No, I don't. I'm actually just going to take off here. I might have had the corner route. I might have had it, but he ran man coverage. I was not expecting the man coverage there. We're going to put in Justin Fields. And we're going to run a little bit of quarterback wrap on third and seven. He probably doesn't think. There's just no way he thinks that I'm going to run the football here. But I am. We're going to do this. Nice. Beautiful. We got great blocks. Oh, I need to I need to break that with Justin. We need to be off there. We need to be off. All right. Now we're going to try. Okay. This looks like main coverage to me. We're going to try this uh, little corner out here. Um, it should get open. He's probably going to try to send a blitz. He's going to try to send absolutely everybody. I don't have route tech on uh, Wes Welker. But you know what? We actually have a running back wide open. And we get a first down. That was kind of close, but Justin Fields, we got a pass, and uh, I feel pretty confident here. We're going to come back with a fake jet power pass, or pass power, or whatever it is. And I'm telling you guys, if we just break one of these, I mean, we're going to absolutely be gone. After this, we're going to hop probably in, like, pistol or something. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, my gosh. This guy's got fucking full maxed out cam chance. I mean, this guy's just playing the game. He is playing it. Believe it or not, this fullback dive out of strong wing actually is really good. For some reason, the uh, the handoff is extremely quick. You guys will see it right here. Handoff is extremely fast. If you want to get like two, three, four solid yards, you can do that with Janovich right there. So we have ourselves 
Um, in a third down and nine. This guy's rocking a lot of uh, of main coverage, which is which is fine. We have man beaters. They exist. All right, this is main coverage again. Oh, it looks like it is. Looks like it is man coverage again. We're going to do the same. We're going to try to do the same one play touchdown. Um, I might try to roll out to the left here. I'm going to go like that. Nice. And I think we have it. Yeah, we do. Perfect. I think that's probably a third. I would bet that's a third out there. I doubt that's main coverage. Um, we're going to try. I'm gonna, do I try? No, I'm not going to try. I'm not going to do it again. We're going to go into the pistol and we're going to call pistol spread. Uh, the zone alert bubble is a really, really good play. We should be able to actually get this off before the two minute warning. I'm going to go to this left side here. And there we go. Wide open. Wes Welker. Look at that. It's Wes Welker. So we didn't get a ton of yards, but still we're moving the football at our own pace and we're chewing the clock. We're not, we're not, we're not flying down the field. Of course, we could, we could play gun bunch and we could run this and, and we could get like a ton of yards every single play, but that's not the point of this offense. The point is to methodically move the football. Now, again, we're out in gun bunch here. My goal is to look there. Look at that square wide open. We get the lead blocker. Beautiful. Deshaun Jackson. We're unconservative, so we're not going to fumble. I mean, we're at, we're absolutely chilling right now. Um, I'm going to come back out and spread double flex. We're going to run quarterback wrap again. If we get the blocks, we should be gone. The one guy we got to worry for is goddamn Cam Chancellor. This guy has literally fully maxed out Cam Chancellor with like secure tackle or something, man. God, I mean, that's just, that is crazy that he already has him. Nutty, man. Nutty stuff. We're going to do a little bit of gun bunch flipping. Um, this looks like it's probably going to be main coverage. All I got to do is read it. I think I have that Tyler Higby, and that's a touchdown. So if you have to go to bunch, you absolutely can. Really what you want to do is, is gain the lead, play solid defense. Once you're done with the solid defense, then you could start to just break out the playbook, go through every single different formation. But, I mean, this guy obviously has a very good team. He, he probably has the best player at every single position. And as you guys can see, you know, we chewed up literally like almost a quarter and a half there. And we really were moving the offense at will. We could have stayed in gun bunch, but we like to switch it up. We like to uh, not just run the same formation every single time. And and it, wor it worked out. Like, we're it's... It's literally seven to zero. We're winning. Now we have to somehow play some defense. Okay, so this guy's got a uh, gun bunch. Am I surprised? Absolutely not. I mean, I played literally the perfect defense for that. So, I mean, we'll see. We got the momentum rolling. One thing I forgot to do is auto alignment. I like to run out of uh, base alignment. So we're going to see if that works. All right, does he run? Does he pass? We're going to sit like that. Nice. Oh, that is a hard flat, my guy. That is a hard flat, my guy. He just threw right at it. Okay. All right. This is a run. We should have good protection. Nice. Oh, my God. That was a guess read. Yo, my guy really just guess read. Like, I was just sitting there. That's crazy. All right. This is a run. We should be able to be here with Derrick Henry. He has Derrick Henry subbed in the game. All right. Sit like that. Nice. 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 Beautiful. Hard flat with mid zone KO. Hard flat with mid zone KO does nothing. I am not surprised. All right. Gun bunch tight end. Sit like that. Nice. Beautiful. Delay fade? Holy Jesus. He almost made a fucking Kobe throw. Oh, God. I got stuck in defensive lineman. This is actually good coverage. I'm going to use a rush him. That should be perfect coverage. Literally perfect. Yep. Yep. Beautiful. Jayla Ramsey. Awesome. So now we're up 7-0. to zero, And now this is where we started to break out. We break it out. We just break out every single play in the playbook. So we're going to go to uh, strong slot. I'm going to sub in Justin Fields here. And uh, this is where... This is... This is genuinely where we just start to just call the most random shit ever. So we're going to go halfback dive, right? Because we have these three post-ups, because we have blocking abilities from our fullback, we should be able to block really, really well. You guys will see the blocks up front. It's kind of insane how good they are. You guys saw that. That was some really good blocking. That was some really, really solid blocking. This time we're going to go with the power option to the right. And uh, what I like to do is motion over this receiver, and we just have to read it. We either have to uh, hold the ball ourselves, or we have to go with the running back, and we are going to pitch it out. We got the beautiful block, and just like that, I mean, we're off. We're off. Uh, I'm going to call a timeout. I have the ball at the 32-yard line. I could try running again. Um, in fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run the ball again, because, because why the heck not? I can always audible over maybe to something. We're going to try and run with Justin Fields here. Maybe break something off. If he over pursues or does one thing wrong, I mean, we are gone. We are gone and they're just like that. And we're gone. And that is why this offense is so good. It is an off meta offense. I'm going out of bounds. I'm saving my timeout. Justin Fields, five rushes, 61 yards. No abilities on Justin Fields, by the way. Just want to 
Just want to point that one out there. Absolutely no abilities on Justin Fields. Uh, this one, I'm going to run. I'm just going to run the ball here. We're going to do a nice little, we're going to do a buck sweep. We don't really need like short yardage. We need some big ass play. So we're going to run a buck sweep with our two polar elite guards. And we're going to try with Raheem Mostert here. Look at that. Beautiful block. Beautiful stuff. Down at the four. I'm going to hurry up. That didn't, that didn't waste too much time. We're going to try it again. Oh, we, we got beautiful blocking. Oh my gosh, we're almost gone. Calling a timeout. I'm calling a timeout. I'm doing something risky. We're going to go ball carrier aggressive. And I'm going to go out into the five wide. Empty quads. I'm going to make sure that Justin Fields is subbed in. I'm going to run quarterback blast. Uh, if I don't get it on this first try, I am literally going to hurry up. And I'm going to run it again. Um, we have three post-ups. The blocks should be absolutely incredible. And I would bet that we score a touchdown. And just like that, we do. Just like that, we do. We're not running gun bunch. We're not running trips tight end. We are running the Baltimore tour, ladies and gentlemen. Those three post-ups help so much with the runs up the middle. If you can play solid enough defense to know what you're doing, pass the ball when you need to pass it, but run these weird ass plays, utilize abilities. I'm telling you, man, offense can be fun. You can dominate you know, without running gun punch or, or gun punch offset. Now, he has three timeouts. We got to make sure we don't give up any points. That's what we got to do. So I'm just going to go. I'm going to put the flats at 30. And uh, I'm just going to blitz. All right. So I have a deep half on the right. We are blitzing absolutely everybody. He's probably going to try corner route. Oh, my. Wow. This guy's got some interesting reads. I'll be honest with you. I just didn't think he was going to throw it. I wasn't even holding. I wasn't even holding triangle. I. I, I wasn't. He wasted his time out. We got to get him inbounds like two, three more times, and we'll see what we can do here. All right, man. I need these. I need this blitz to come in. All right, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. We're gonna sit like that, and I don't. I don't know what he's throwing. I'll be honest with you. I have no, no idea what he's throwing. He's calling a timeout, which gives me even more opportunity to just get a strip sack. I'm actually gonna go and turn my tackling on aggressive here. Maybe we can get something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we can get absolutely something. Get a crazy strip sack in the backfield. Walk out with three points or potentially even six points. We're going to try to blitz him right here. Let's get some crazy aggressive tackling here. Let's get some aggressive tackling. I'm letting the CPU do their thing. Okay, never mind. And he has two seconds. Okay, well, not at this point. We're going to turn the tackling off aggressive. And uh, did we come on three deep? I don't even, I don't even think there's gun tight. Oh, my God. He's going to go for the one play. What do I even come out in? This is actually terrifying. Okay, so I have deep path both sides. I'm just going to take my user, run all the way back, and just look at the deep routes, and okay, we screamed. Oh my god, if my tackling was still on aggressive, we might have had a touchdown. We might have had a touchdown. I think I kicked the football off to him, right? I actually really like these abilities, so we're just going to keep everything the exact same. Defense. You guys don't even know my defensive abilities. We kick in the football off. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's all good. We just got to consistently play solid defense. At this point, whenever people go down by two scores... I feel like they want to get it all back at once. I feel like that's what happens. And I just got to make sure he doesn't do it this time. We're going to keep we're going to keep those flats on uh we're going to put them on 20 and just see how it works. Um we're going to go like this. My job is to actually what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, we have cover 3 on the left and then cover 2 on the right. It's kind of hard to explain what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Um but the corner route shouldn't get open. Underneath is fine. Oh, we just got to make tackles. Oh, we got to make tackles. That's what we got to do. We cannot be letting him break tackles like that. No, no, no way, man. All right, he's going to do the same thing. Hurry up here. I, I have hard flats, but again, I think I have zone drops on. We're just going to sit sit the tight end. Oh, that could be... I can't expect the quarter to play a slant. I can't expect it. So he scored maybe a little faster than I would have liked. Um, I could have sent a little bit more pressure, but... I mean, as long as we just continue to, to move the football well... As long as we just get three points, I honestly think that uh, we should be able to walk out of here with a pretty easy win. He's going to kick it to Janovich. Uh, I'm going to return it. Janovich has crazy trucking, which means, I mean, he's just going to run a bitch over at that point. He's going to run a bitch over. Make sure all this stuff is good. Okay, I trucked on aggressive. That is not a good idea. Let's go ball carrier conservative. Um, let's go ahead and just start out with, uh, with the Justin Fields run. Just start out with the Justin Fields run. Let's go to the right side. This is such a good run because... Like I said, if you over pursue one way, I mean, I am gone. Just like that, bro. I, I mean, and I'm going down. I'm going down. 
Like, seven rushes, 78 yards. This guy really cannot find a way to stop this. Again, we're just going to switch it up. Just go to another random formation. Strong eye wing. Uh, let's go ahead and run like a zone. Let's go HB zone weak on the left there. You guys saw. But I'm actually going to flip it and I'm going to go. Or I, I'm going to move the run to the left. Um, we're going to try to run on the left here. Run behind our post ups. And they worked really, really, really well. I, I might have been able to cut it to the left there. But that's solid. Three yards. We'll take three yards. We'll take three yards. We'll take three yards. What do I do here? Do I come out and bunch? I think I'm going to try bunch. Uh, one of my favorite plays in bunch in Ravens bunch is um, Ravens curl. I always flip bunch even when you don't have to. I like to just smoke screen um, the solo side receiver and then just read it. Um, I like to go into the flats almost every single time if I can. And I have it. For some reason, uh, it was lofted right there. That's fine. We went out of bounds. Not exactly ideal. Not exactly ideal. Um, let's go, again, just random ass formations. Let's go weak eye wing. Weak eye wing. Let's go HB gut. You have to trust the abilities that you have, okay? We have three post-ups. A post up is an ability where if, if if you double team, right? If you double team a player, it's gonna give you a substantially better block. So look at that. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, bro. The Baltimore tour, baby. The Baltimore tour. I'm telling you, utilize the abilities well. Three post ups. Three post ups. That shit is a glitch. They're one AP and they cost 600 training. You guys have to understand. Three post-ups are absolutely insane. We're up 21 to 7 on this guy. Unless he gets a one-play touchdown on me, I really don't. I think this game is I think this game is is essentially over. I really do. I'm gonna do uh I'm gonna turn my flats. I'm actually I'm I'm gonna keep the I'm gonna take the zone drops off. He's in gun tight again. I'm gonna go back to uh 335 wide as it is literally the only good defensive formation in this game. We're gonna run a little bit of match. I'm just gonna run uh cloud flat match with uh no press should look like this pretty decent defense and i, I like, like i said we have been able to command this game pretty exclusively uh my job is to watch any like potential yeah no this is actually a bag no that's actually a bag come here come here give me the fumble oh my god bro oh my god i'm actually next level i'm actually next level oh my god i blitz here i think i blitz here do I blitz here? No. I'm not gonna blitz. I'm not gonna give him I'm not gonna give him any easy yards. We're just gonna come back with match. Play some good solid match defense. Again, exact same match setup. This is what it looks like right now. Um understanding this is an offensive video, but understanding the difference of when to run match and when to run uh just really any other formation is super big. Is we force a safety on our opponent. And uh, I mean, this is a, this is damn near a defensive video at this point. Aaron Donald, Jack Youngblood, the Rams theme team D lines going crazy. And you know what? We're not gonna be a bitch. I'm not gonna try to run uh, run the clock out. We're, we're gonna we're gonna still we're gonna still play. Now I do see Cam Chancellor right there. And if there's one thing in this world I will not do, it is take a hit stick from Cam Chancellor. That will never happen. Um, we're gonna stay in pistol here. The blocking is so good out of pistol, man. Really is so good. We're going to stay in weak eye wing. And um, we're going to run halfback gut again. But I'm going to have the run go to the left side here. Stay behind my three post-ups. And uh, my fullback blocking. Should be really, really solid blocks. As this guy just sent absolutely everyone. That was really, really good run defense. Now, when people start to play solid run defense, what you can do is you can actually hit them with the pass over the top. Okay? So I'm going to come out with PA scissors. And this play actually works really, really well, especially like with my God Squad. I shouldn't say God Squad. With my No Money Spent team, it's a lot better on offense than this. It works really, really well. I'm going to fake it like I'm running. He's not going to see it coming, and I'm looking for the tight end, okay? I'm looking. Actually, no. Tight end's not open. We're going to go with our boy, Andy Janovich. Andy Janovich, bro. Look at the size. Seven of seven passing right now. And you know what? Just for the hell of it, I'm going to try I'm gonna try beat her, Okay. But we're going to do it actually out of Pistol Bunch. This really messes people up. Pistol Bunch, just like regular Bunch. I'm going to come out in Seattle. And we're going to go ahead and flip it here. This might be man coverage. This might be man coverage. I'm not exactly sure. We're going to go ahead and flip it. And... Oh, wait. R1. R1's wide open. Wait. What the hell was that? Did I just completely miss my read? He was running man coverage. That dude was literally wide open. Okay. We're going to... We're going to... 
We're gonna run something different here. I, I, I gotta cook up a fourth down dot here. I gotta cook something up. All right, guys, I rarely break out this play, but fake jet halfback seam. It's essentially uh, that quarterback run, but instead of the quarterback run, it's a fake, and you can normally hit the tight end over the top. This is a super crazy bot play, but most of the time, people just overcommit on it so much, and I just threw it. Guys, if there's ever something uh, you should take away from this video, it is don't do that. Uh, don't do that. All right, we're just going to continue to play uh, some solid match defense. Again, just, oh my God, make tackles, bro. Make tackles. Just don't score before the two-minute warning, and uh, we're going to be absolutely fine. I'm not even going to put a yellow zone out there. I'm just going to send four. Hopefully, our outside linebacker can get through. It's pretty good defense. Oh, God, he, he might have a touchdown there. He might have a touchdown, Jordan Fuller. Can't knock it out. Well, that is not a, that is not a great scenario for me. He ran probably the best route against match that you can run out of tight. He's, is he going to go for two? Do you go for two here? I feel like you do. You do. Okay. All right. No, I'm cool with that. That's fine. He might be doing the same thing as me. Um, I'm going to run match again. Hard flats. Oh, God. I have a purple out there. That is actually not what I want. I wanted that to be a yellow. Low-key wanted it to be a yellow. Sit. Nice. 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 Beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God, that was almost the most insane fucking two-point conversion I've ever seen in my life. Let's wait, does he go onside? He does not. He has three timeouts, two-minute warning. We have a solid run game. We're just gonna stick behind that. Pass the ball when we need to, and we should be good. Um, we might run a couple read options. Let me see, let's see if we can run some read options. That's Adderley, I don't care about you. Oh my God, I don't know who that was, but he just got his brains trucked in. Um, this is something we haven't broken out yet. Go into, let's see, pistol strong slot. And we're going to run, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? We're going to run the, I can't find it. I can't find the, oh, triple option on the far left. Okay. We're going to do the same setup we did before where we motioned this guy over. But instead, when we hike the ball, we're going to hold X and we're going to hand it off to the fullback. He might even run commit to the right, which could be a touchdown. It could very easily be a touchdown if we get this the right way. Look at Janovich go. Look at him fight, dude. Fullbacks, man. They actually matter in this year's game. Second down and four. I'd say about I'd say about two more first downs. And uh and this game should be pretty much cooked. I'd say it should be pretty much cooked. We're gonna run. What do we run here? I don't even know what I want to run. Do we run? Do we run the rap? Do we do we run the rap? Do we hit him with the rap? I think I might have to do it. I think I might have to hit him with the rap. Let's see how his stick skills are. We'll see how his stick skills are. Let's see if he's ready for it. We got the blocks that we need. Justin Fields. Ah, oh, fight for me. No, we didn't get it. Oh, my gosh. That's all good. That's all good. Third down and in inches. Um, I'm going to pass here. I know it sounds insane, but I'm going to pass. I'm going to try to hike it really, really fast. Um, and uh, we're just going to see. We're just going to see. Got him. Got him. Raheem Mostert, baby. Raheem Mostert. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and ladies and gentlemen, I think that's the game. Justin Fields, yes, he did have an interception. Yes, that was unfortunate. But um, I'm pretty sure that's the game right there. We're going we're gonna to run the ball here again with Justin Fields. See how we, see how he kind of gauges this. All oh, perfect blocks. Oh, he's trying to strip. He's trying to hit me with the strip. Come on now. No, it's not going to work. Uh, let me go. There's a counter out of this that's really good. The Ravens control lead or counter control. Wow, wow. We're just going to tell him you didn't say that. The Ravens counter lead, you can flip it without people even knowing. So I'm going to run it to the right side here. The blocking is actually really, really good, as you guys can see. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the game. Um, hopefully, one or two or three or four of these plays that you saw um, in today's video, you realized how good the Ravens playbook is and how good running the ball is when you have the right abilities. Guys, I have Matt Stafford. I have Raheem Mostert. These are not insane players. These are players that every single person can get on their field. And you can play the game a fun way. That's not gun bunch, man. We're going to run the ball again. Counter. Go outside. He's going to call timeouts, but I mean, this game is... Uh... This game is 100% over. One last play uh, that's decently good is I form wing. It's a halfback toss. Now, if he run commits to the left here, we could have problems. We could have problems. Uh, however, the blocking does actually like look, uh, yeah. As you guys can see, the blocking is actually really, really good, um, especially if you have two polar elites on that outside there. I mean, we put up 30 points 
barely passing the ball. I mean, like, I think we passed for like 200 yards, but passing for 200 yards in, uh, in Madden 22, not the craziest thing. Not the craziest thing whatsoever. So, yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's a fun offense, man. All right. I, I like a lot of people are uh, running bunch. I, I would say every single, if, if, if you're going to be, if you're going to play an MCS, right, every single person is going to run bunch. That's just kind of how the cookie, the cookie crumbles, right? But for me, I don't know. I don't, I don't really, I don't really want to run bunch. I want, I want to run something a little different. Obviously, I have bunch in this playbook. So if I have to pass, I will. Um, and I'll do it out of bunch. It's got a lot of really, really good formations. Um, the only the abilities that I showed you guys uh, are the abilities that are best for running. You can do other stuff. You don't necessarily have to do all the other, um, you know, polar elites or anything like that. But I would just say the main abilities that you absolutely have to have are the three post ups and at least set feet lead. If you can have that, I mean, you're you're just gonna be absolutely chilling. And as you guys can see, 30 to 13 game. I mean, we played solid defense. And uh, the thing is, when you can play solid defense and control the clock, it puts a lot of pressure on your opponent to uh, to get points, right? If you're just constantly scoring back to back to back to back to back to back to back, it's going to be a shootout. And if that's not your game, then don't play that way. If you're not a guy that's going to be able to put up 55 points a game, then don't make it like that. This guy had probably the best team that you possibly can, and I kept the game slow, and I still scored 30 points, right? I'm not putting up 50 or 60 points, right? Because that's just insane. We all know how good Gun Bunch Offset is and Seattle's Gun Bunch and all that stuff. But the Baltimore Tour, ladies and gentlemen, it is the truth. You have to trust me. It's one of the funnest ways to play the game right now. Two quarterback system, Daniel Jones and Justin Fields. As you guys can see, we had a little bit over 200 passing yards. We had more passing yards than this guy, right? We, we, we literally have more passing yards uh, than my opponent. Rushing, Raheem Mostert went absolutely crazy. Justin Fields, nine rushes for 80 yards. You guys can see we had 200 yards passing, uh, essentially 200 yards rushing. Really solid stuff, man. Really, really, really solid stuff. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that game. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. And guys, see you in my next upload. Peace. I'm so, I'm so